Oh, these are the, oh, no, this is the, oh, okay, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, uh, is everybody here? Mary. Kevin's oh. around someplace. Oh, Mary and Kevin. Can we? So let's, let's keep moving here. Okay, you have before you, and you previously were circulated, the minutes from the November 13th meeting. Um, have you all had a chance to review them? And if so, um, do I have a, hear a motion to approve? Motion. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Okay, there's a, uh, a couple of things that um, I need to report. First of all, the um, letter to the New York State Controller seeking clarification um, on the deposit of the Lolly Fund at the Community Foundation has been sent. So we will be, um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but we will be receiving clarification from the State um, Controller's Office on whether it can stay there or it needs to change, and we will obviously comply with whatever the state controller says we have to do. Uh, I just want to make one addition to that. Sure. Um, at our last board, one of our board meetings, the request was made, or a question was asked as to who the check was made out to. It was made out to New Hartford Town Library, and um, that letter was updated to address, to put that in there. Okay, and I specifically asked as a trustee on this board that we, the board, see the letter before it goes out, before it's signed, and I would like to see that letter. Well, it's already gone, but you're, I you're would like to see the letter, Linda, and I specifically made that request. I think okay. as a board, as a trustee, I think you are obligated to make that available to the trustees. I, Ed, why didn't you let me answer before you kept talking? I will be happy to give you a copy of the letter. Well, after the fact is okay. not what I call sound business for analysis. Okay, thank you, Ed. Um, secondly, um, we all, we all, um, I know saw the article in the OD, and we all got a flurry of emails about it. Um, I would like to, for one, state, Elena, there was absolutely no reflection on you. Um, there appeared to be a question, I guess, um, of when in, in the past meetings, or whether in the past meetings there was an actual vote. I certainly know, I, can, I recall circulating your resume and your candidate number four, we, we wanted to protect privacy, which is certainly within our realm to do so. Um, nobody was have any mal intent or any bad feelings, but um, to the extent that if it wasn't, I would entertain a motion to, to ratify the action that was taken 
approve the recommendations of the nominating committee in hiring Elena Schneider as our executive director. Do I hear a motion? Motion. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, I approve the appointment, but I do not approve the methodology employed by the committee because that was never stated. But I do agree, and I, she is, uh, she was not a target of any animosity in that article. I think it was quite complimentary to her, and I, for one, welcome her board as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Welcome, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I guess it's I guess it's more official now than it was, but <laughs> yes. We have just finished going over, thanks to Mr. Plum, establishing the um, bylaws. What do we just do? The personnel um, and procedures and all of that? No, we've just um, we're we're just, personnel policy. We're working on the personnel policy last the committee and we've gone through about half of it. Uh, that'll be in my report. Oh, okay. okay. I've right. got the half of it. Yeah, we've the got paper. a lot from nominating and board and trustees and all that, but I'll wait till I'll wait till we get. Can I ask a question then? Is it possible that we incorporate for future use so they don't get into this conflict again, the procedures for a new director? It's not part of the personnel policy. Uh, that's part of the bylaws and the overall policies of the library. See, there's, there's two committees. There's a policy committee and then there's the personnel committee. And we're just handling the personnel policies as they relate to personnel. We're not handling uh, search committee or anything else other than that. Our, our, our purvey is just personnel. It's HR. It's HR. It's HR. Okay. So uh, there would have to be a separate... There is. I don't know who the chairman of the John, policy. John, 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 John is John is the policy committee. So John would have to... But the committees are all... The, the incoming president will co come up with new committees as of January 1, so... He'll, I'm sure they'll get the chance to talk to you about that. Okay. Um, I have nothing for executive session. Does anybody have anything for executive session? Okay. Moving on. Directors. Um, well, let's start with um, the report of Anne, and then we will go to a Okay. Sure. All right. You guys all have it here. I don't really need to read this to you. It's basically the same. Um, same groups are using the library. Uh, we did have our children's program on December 8th, which was something new and different, which hopefully we will make that a yearly tradition now. Um, most importantly, I wanted to just say that since Elaine has been here in the last two weeks, I think she's hit just about every group uh, she could hit in New Hartford, in, outside of New Hartford, and is attacking, I mean, just bringing such good publicity to the library that uh, we are really proud of her, making a, a lot of connections, so thank you. I still got to take the Voluntary Joe's on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. That's on you. The follow on Friday. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. What's on Sunday? Saturday. So, that's really all I have. Okay, are there any questions of Ann? I'd just like to say one thing. I would like to personally thank Ann. We may have said it before, but I'm going to say it again. I want to thank Ann for her work during that period of time she served in the acting capacity as a librarian. So well, um, um, that question. is. Um, Yes, that, that's, that, that, that should be said in open session here. Certainly, um, we have met with Anne, and in her review, conveyed the feelings of the entire board that um, Anne has just done a spectacular yeah. job and really stepped up to the plate. And for that, Anne, we're grateful. Um, you did a terrific job, and we thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, it gives me great pleasure to, um, I've already introduced, but to turn the floor over to Elena, our new executive director, um, to, to address the board. It will be my pleasure to work with you. I like it here, and I would like to see our library doing really well. I would like it to grow, to be powered by New Hartford community. And uh, I'll do everything I can the best in my abilities to make it happen uh, as soon as possible. Mm. And anything this board can do to help you, to support you, um, we, we stand by to do that. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And again, welcome. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Um, Treasurer's report. Heather. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up with the Finance Committee. 
I want to talk about the 2014 budget. I don't know if it's in front of you. Um, did you get one? Did you get one? Jenny, did you get one? No. Here. I'm married to get one either. Mine. Sorry, Mary, that's so all I got. Have mine. Okay. It's nothing's changed except we're going to make one change. Uh, the budget you see before you is what you saw two months ago. Um, we've had a good conversation at our finance meeting. We came out of our finance meeting with a consensus um, that this was a reasonable and fair budget that we were putting forward. Um, the only change that um, the Finance Committee uh, opted to make with regards to the stipend, we would like to uh, give Ann $2,000 in the 2013 year, and instead of a 3% raise, uh, a 5% raise, uh, due to the investment that she's made the past six months and learning the processes of, of really being a, a deputy, and, and, and more than a deputy, but taking charge of everything. Um, so even though that 4000 is going to stay in the stipend line temporarily, um, there won't be anything taken out of that in the 2014 year. So I don't know if any of the other committee people would like to add anything, and if not, I would ask for a resolution to accept uh, the 2014B budget. That's that, that's Anne's, not A. A was mine. B was, was a combination of ours and hers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, do I hear a um, motion, motion to accept the 2014B budget? Do I hear a second? Second. Any further discussion? Uh, Just with, with the one kid, we want to take care of it. Yeah. 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 Okay, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. I'm uh, liking this meeting so far. I'd like to make a motion <laughs> that we uh, include $2,000 on the next payroll for Andrew Ross. Uh, as, as additional uh, remuneration for 2013. Four. Four of the services over the past six months. Motion. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Carried. Congratulations, Ann. That's a, a really a small token of our sincere appreciation for, <coughs> for the work that you've done. Uh, about a month ago, I uh, emailed uh, a copy of the 990, the draft copy of the 990 to everyone. Um, I didn't know if anybody had any questions or any concerns. I heard from one, I heard from two board members. Um, other than that, I'd, I'd like to present them now. Okay. Um, has everybody had a chance to take a look at it? Uh, do you need an approval to, it's, well, it's fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, with regards to, oh, uh, it's not on here, but I want to talk about the sewer tax. Uh, yes. I know you've, you've met with Supervisor Tuzinski. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, I want to be very uh, brief on this, but it's a long story, so I'll be very quick. Um, I believe the year, it was in the mid-90s, the town consolidated all their individual sewer, sewer districts. And when they did that, they actually went and had to have state legislation done. And in the state legislation, uh, it provided for two uh, forms of revenue to come into the town that would be paid by users. Um, the first one would be a user charge of $20 per parcel, and that $20 uh, was levied for the purposes of paying debt. There was outstanding debt when all these, for all the lines that were put in. Um, in addition, it would be an ad valorem tax for operation and maintenance of the lines. That would be, the, an ad valorem means um, it's based on the assessment. Um, over the past period, probably 10 years, we've been charged for both the debt and the tax, uh, or excuse me, the, the, the $20 and the tax. Um, we really were only supposed to be charged the $20, not the tax, because we were a nonprofit. Um, I talked to the Office of Real Property Services in Syracuse. Um, it is their understanding we can only ask for a refund up to three years. Um, I've talked to the town supervisor about that too. So what he has shared with me is that the 2014 town budget, um, we will only be charged $20. Um, and that he has tasked Dan Drymiller with looking up various parcels that uh, have nonprofit status with regards to um, um, what might we might expect as a refund. Okay, and if you had any discussion with any of the other nonprofits with respect to confirming 
that it's a three-year window. Um, it's in writing. If you pull up the Office of Real Property Services, mm -hmm. I, I just pulled it up. It's right there. I called, and then I spoke to the regional office for the state, Office of Real Property Services State Agency, mm -hmm. and I spoke to them um, in Syracuse <coughs> about a month ago, and they said that's all that they're aware of. If there's some other state law out there that makes it indefinite or 10 years or 20 years, they don't know it. It could be out there, but it's in their regulations uh, three years. You know, and along those lines, uh, the school uh, attorney is uh, also uh, following up with the board. So, so if there is any legal question regarding how far back you can go, I'm sure the school is going to turn over that. But up until now, the school has also taken the position that it's a three-year window. No, they, they have not. They have not. <clears throat> okay, well, in fact, so we're, we're not going to. I mean, I think whatever. If we if we formally ask the town, I know they're still trying to let the dust mm -hmm. settle here, and I'm glad to hear that they're only going to bill us at twenty dollars for this year, but. You know, we should ask for whatever we're entitled to. I mean, if it if it does turn out it's beyond three years. Well, their attorney is he's researching it. He yeah, the never, school district attorney attorney is I think. Yeah, they're all researching yes. it. It's, it's and and I I'm I'm glad to see them research. All I can tell yeah. you is in talking to the Office of Real Property Services, which is the the state organization that manages this. Um, and what I saw in writing, all they are aware of is three years, it's and what's in writing is three I hope it's. I hope it goes back to the beginning of time. I, I don't know that. But I, what I guess what I'm saying is, I we don't have the budget nor the inclination to hire somebody to look at that. So I think we could probably bootstrap some of these other, particularly the district, and see. What yeah, the district. Yeah, and, yeah, and, I mean, and, and Bob Knowles is really great. <laughs> and he says, yeah, whatever, you know, however we want to piggyback with yeah, them is that's, fine. that's why we've been. Well, there's just a modification to, I'd like to add on to what Heather said, that in fact, what the law says, the not, any nonprofit should not have been charged since at least 1995. Originally, the research done by Mrs. Lawrence, that it, we, it was understood that it went back to 2004, but we've since looked at the legislative jacket, the law, and many, many other documents. This library, as well as other nonprofit, there are approximately 88 non not for profits that are due a refund, conceivably as far back as 1995. And as far as Forbes putting it in writing that there's a limitation of three years, I would challenge that. Well, because it's, it's, on their their website. Website. it's on their website. It doesn't make well, any difference. It, well, well, there's well, a lawyer saying, that's guys, looking we're gonna, we're gonna get what we the maximum we can get. Right, yeah. 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 I'm just exactly. telling you, okay, my research Whatever the school board's doing, we'll find Whatever the school exactly. board does, we'll do it. Yeah, and they've, got, they've got some good attorneys working on it. Yes, we're they do. Wait. Okay, Heather. Yes. Anything else? I don't know that there's really anything else. Target award letter? I don't recall why we, was, it, was there a reason for that? I don't. Well, I know that the question came up if the funds, where the funds went into. So I know that, I know we're still working on that with the, uh, with Greg. I had to follow okay. up on that. I apologize. So. Right. Any questions for Heather? There were two things. Yeah, did you just say the Library Garden Fund check? We were going to see if you can get a copy of that. She, she said one. it was made out to the New Hartford Library. No, I'm talking about Target, not Library Garden Fund. I don't recall she what the library, library Garden Fund town. I don't recall what the Library Garden Fund issue was. You were talking something in the minutes about going after a check? And in the, in the endowment fund, you were going to ask for the transactions. I think she yeah, said that. Okay, she said that. You went too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think she said that the check was made out to the New Hartford Public Library. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. who the fund, who the yeah, check was made right. yeah. I apologize. Okay. That's, that's okay, any uh, further I, questions? Just one quick question of Heather as it relates to the 2014 budget building expenses. Are there any expenses in that line item or anywhere in our 2014 operational budget where we should be looking at the Lally Fund for purposes of establishing a line item there which had been built into the expenditures here? Because we have yeah, the Garden uh, yeah, Fund. Yeah, let me explain to you. Um, at, it came up off the cuff at our policy meeting. We had a, uh, John, you're head of the committee, right? I won't, I won't, yes, she is. I won't yes. take your thunder on that. Um, it came up, and I knew that Jay and Kevin were on the facilities committee. I don't know who else is on it. Um, about tasking them and asking them and tasking them with pulling together an RFP for. No, no, no. No, no. Listen, that. I'm going to get. I'm going to get to what oh, you're saying. Oh. Okay. For the purposes of, of lawn services and shoveling and all of that. 
that then got into a further discussion because a portion of those services belong should be expensed to the library and a portion of those should be expensed to the garden fund. Right. So that's something that Jay said that they would take on and when Okay, but it, has that been articulated no. in the 2014 no, budget to no what idea. dollar amount? I have no idea what the number so is. So we have to have some kind of accounting or an addendum or an attachment say from the Lally Fund which then would reduce the building or else there could be a subline here for the building expenses, so much against the Lally and so much against <laughs> normal operations. Right. So that we're not, we've got that money available and there, we there should is be some, using There that. is some money built in there for expense for Royal Landscape, well, from last year, what Royal Landscape yeah. bills were, yeah, that there is something in there for that. Right. Um, it, do I know that it's the, the, the most accurate number? I don't, and that's what the Facilities Committee is going to do some research on. Right, but I'm just saying from a purely budget there is some perspective, money in there. Yeah, there's some money we've in there. got to yep. account for that and, yep. and recognize that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Heather, and thank you for all, all the good work you and your committee have done. Uh, nominating, Mary. Okay. Um, I want to pass these around. Um, I'd like to thank the outgoing officers of Linda for all your time and effort and leadership. Rich Evans and Heather, and um, Linda has chosen to not be a part of the board in the future for next year, and um, Rich and Heather would like to be reappointed. So that will leave one remaining seat, and we have chosen not to make a rec the nominating committee, not to make a recommendation to the town, but um, they do know of your hard work and value to this board. Recommendations for officers um, are Jay Wynn for president, Jim Kirkpatrick as vice president, John Klein as secretary, and Heather Mowick for treasurer if she's reappointed. And if there is, for some reason that doesn't happen, we will vote on treasurer next month. And you are welcome to have other nominations from the floor at this time. Well, my right here. Sorry? Well, I, I just have one question of Mary before if somebody wants to entertain a vote. In other words, Jim, have you held the, an officer's position in the past? Mm -hmm. Have you specifically held a vice president position or any other officer? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, my consideration here, my concern here, not consideration here, is, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you may think of this, you know, we, we have individuals here that we need to spread the diversity of knowledge we have here. You know, one of the complaints that I've heard is that we have, we recycle the same people over and over and over. I'm not saying this situation here, but I think we need to canvas others where we need to put their name forward and say, are you interested? Well, um, the, pro the process to do that is mm -hmm. right now um, where we will take nominations from the floor. Right. I would just point out <clears throat> Jay Wynn has never held an officership and that's here. That's qualified. John statement. Klein has for a short period of time. Heather has true. for a very short period of time. And Jim, when was the last time you were an officer? I'm going to withdraw because it wasn't my choice anyway. Um, well, it was the, more the than idea, nine years ago. Yeah, it was more than nine years ago. And the thought process here is that we do essentially have three brand new people in a relatively new people in as officers. So the thought was to have somebody that does have the history also serve in that capacity. So I would take issue that this is a recycling. In fact, I think it's, it's, it's quite, quite different. But you obviously feel differently, mm -hmm. and we just opened it up to, for nominations from the floor. So I would entertain well, those. I would like to nominate Ed, Trustee Ed Fluma for president. For okay. president? Uh, no. Tony, you found? Not for president, you guys. Um, uh, vice president. I'll okay, I'll president. nominate you for vice president. Yeah. Do we hear any other nominations? Um, and you accept that nomination for vice president? I do. Okay. Do I hear any other nominations from the floor? Okay, having heard none, um, then we should vote. Um, is that a secret ballot? No. Uh, no, it's yeah. not. Well, it's not it's if we go to a ballot in the bylaws, it's a secret ballot. Hey, hang on. Open meetings law says it must be an open to the public. And we've got some discussion to go through, right? Uh, yes, the balloting we do. is, and we will read the, the 
totals at the end, but we don't have to yes, get John, John, you're, you're absolutely correct. By ballot and yeah. then we the always vote by ballot. That's exactly what we've done. So that's I what we just want to put the board on notice. You're in violation of the open meeting. Okay, so thank you. Ed. So. Yes, uh, Mr. Flema, you had something to say? Oh, you know, this, oh is there any discussion? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we need to make a motion and discuss, right? Right. Okay. Motion to vote for elections. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? Discussion. Uh, just a couple questions for you. Okay. One. Since uh, I've been on the board, it's been a year. Well, not a year, but eight months. We I've been on probably seven different committees. Right now I'm on five. The only scheduled committee meeting I have ever been invited to has been my own. What is president? How do you feel about committees, and what is your expectation of committees uh, going forward? Oh, this is a debate. It's a discussion. It's a discussion. Yeah. It's a question. Okay. It's a question. Uh, I mean, as president, what what Jay are, would you do to assure that our committees are functioning, that they actually have meat? Well, the bylaws are supposed to meet. Mm -hmm. I would ask each and every one of them to meet, or explain to me why they're not going to. I would canvas all the people that are currently on the committee, find out who is the most interested in becoming the chairman, who's the most enthusiastic about getting it done. Uh, I appreciate what you're doing in your committee. I see what John is doing on his. I know there's some other committees that are kind of dead in the water. And I think we need to wake them all up. But second thing, um, uh, you've shown yourself to be a, a very uh, middle of the road kind of guy, Jake. I read something today, though, in an email that concerned me, and that was that um, regarding the OD article, that um, we need to find out who did this and take action. It was almost like we're, we're, we're to, and, and that concerned me a little bit. What's your thought process on okay. that? Okay, I'm saying that if we have detractors from the line, we need to understand who they are, and we need to be Treat them accordingly, not meaning we have to hunt them down and kill them. Okay, because yeah, I mean, no, I mean we need, to under, we need to understand who we're dealing with. And frankly, the only detractor that I really was thinking about in that email was, at the current point, no issue. I figured they were being uh, quite a detractor on this on our uh, director. I didn't like the way they approached this thing, and uh, I consider them not. A friendly. Okay. I guess my question is, and again, this is something that I think going forward, you know, we've got such great opportunities. We've got so many great things happening, man. And I think, I think, uh, I think even your nomination is. A I know what you're going to say. Yeah. I agree. Well, we should follow the rules. Follow the rules and, and and positively follow the rules going forward. And I think all of that goes away. Right. Well, I, mean, I, you, I think you it does. But uh, is the way I've seen it, most of our discussions have been interpretations of the rules. Not that we weren't following them, we weren't following her interpretation or his interpretation. We're fi finding ways not to follow them. Well, yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah, that's true. That's what you said. I don't think that that's true at all. Okay. And I well, think that there have been a couple instances where there have been um, certainly inadvertent and no malevolent intent to, to, to circumvent rules. I think there have been some areas that have been gray. There's certainly been areas where there's a difference of opinion on whether something um, should go one way or another way. And, um, you know, for the most part, the, both, both sides have, have, have had their justifications and they have precedent to, to, to defend it. So uh, I, 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 I guess my question, and I'm asking the question here, I guess my question is, is that, is that as President Jay, um, you know, we, I think that in some cases we've taken a, a, an antagonistic approach instead of a collaborative approach with, with uh, in many areas of our community and even with our local uh, uh, editorials uh, and our local papers. Um, do you see it as, a, as, a, as, a, as an animosity or do you see opportunities for collaboration and progressing relationships in a positive way? Like I said before, if someone is detracting from the library, as a trustee, it's my business to find out why and to stop it. Or to figure out why and to stop them from detracting. So we need to understand who doesn't understand the library and we need to deal with it. 
And I'm not saying we just hunt down and kill everybody that we don't like. But don't do it positively, figuratively speaking, of course. But, but don't. <laughs> do it. But we do it positively by showing the true facts and what we're doing. There's, there's no question. Okay. There's no question. That's, I mean, we have to come to the negotiating table. You don't solve anything by shooting across across the field from behind a rock. But my only comment in that email was I was a little bit steamed about the way it was done. I was unhappy about it, and I considered it um, a meaningless distraction. Okay. I think it was our fault. And, right. and, and basically, I'd be glad to discuss it with anybody. I'd be glad to discuss the way it made me feel. I'd be glad to discuss the way, the way I think that it was done wrong. And I'd be glad to hear what they have to say about why it was done. Oh, did we ever have any reaction from the OD? I know we had one time a large editorial saying these are all the things that the New Hartford Library should be doing. Why aren't they doing them? And then our current president wrote back to the editor and said, excuse us, but we are doing them. Here is everything that you pointed out, and here is everything we have done prior to you writing that letter. I'm, not a, this, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna, I can't answer that. I mean, the question is, I'm asking Jay how we would approach things as president. I mean, I, I, I don't know. If the we, answer to your question is, how about OD address I'm my sensitive. editorial? The answer is no. Sure. Yeah. But several members of the community did quite positively. Would, with okay, is there any further? Well, wait a minute. Ed's oh, got sorry. to, Linda, let's, hold on. Uh, excuse me, like Ed. I thought they were finished. Calm well, down. I don't think so. Calm down, I'm not. I'm just, I'd like to hear the discussion. Good. Good. I, I, I'm good. I mean, again, you know, I see that in you, and it just, I see that in you since you've been on the board. I saw it in you on your porch. You know what yeah. I mean? And and uh, and so I, I just want you know that that thing just kind of concerned me a little bit because I think we've had enough of this, and I think that we just need to embrace with open arms mm -hmm. the great things that this library does. I, I, I would like to withdraw my name. I wasn't interested in it anyway. I have a choice now, so thanks. Okay. As Vice President, what are you going to do to bring the Board of Trustees closer together so that we don't have this constant my way or the highway? Yeah, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a really good thing. And the first thing we do is, in, like in Jay's the President, so all, I, all the Vice President does is ha handle meetings and we'll talk about things, but there's two things that must happen. Two things must happen. One, we must follow our own regulations. We must follow our policies and bylaws uh, and best practices, number one. Number two, we have to get functioning committees. We have to get functioning committees that are going to produce work that, that progresses our, uh, our work forward in support of Elena and Ann and the library. That's okay, what we do. I have a question. Yes. If a trustee or trustees are sitting in a meeting and hearing monthly reports, hearing long-term reports, you're getting very close to a final product and you know there is a mistake in the process and you do not bring it forward for months until the action has been accomplished and then you go public you don't call the chairman you don't call the president you don't talk to the anybody on the committee you immediately go to the press and i'm not saying you i'm saying this particular trustee who's this mary who's that particular trustee I, I, I can't answer your question because I, I don't know anything about what you're saying. This is a discussion. This is not an accusation. How would you handle that? I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, obviously, the, the one thing I did agree with Jay's email was is that as a, as a board, we have to have a consensus. What we discuss in this room is what we discuss in this room. And, and I might not like the decision, and you might not like the vote, but we are the board and we must support each other in those decisions. Now, with that, with one caveat, when something is illegal, if, if the board takes action that's illegal, if the board takes action that is uh, inconsistent with best practice or is going to, uh, in, in, as a trustee, uh, we feel that it's going to uh, detract from our, from our library in a, in a very negative way, then we have a responsibility not to allow that to happen. Now, we're not gonna set each other on fire going down the street to do that, but but uh, but there is a point where where especially an illegal action taken by the board where you can't just say yeah I agree with it and so there well, there, are, there are there I have a question what do you do as the board to we want to retire our constitution and become a public school library 
That was a board decision. That was legal. That was allowable. And one trustee stands in the parking lot and tells people going in to vote, vote against us. Who was that, Les? What do you do? Les, who was that? I can't remember, but it was somebody I who screamed. Really guys, listen, listen. Guys, this, 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 is, this is what we're getting on track here. Really we're, 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 Let's we're, we're gonna, we're gonna right. stop what we're doing right now is, is the first point of a point of contention. We're not gonna stop pointing fingers, we're not gonna look at other people for our problems, we're gonna solve them as a board. Okay. How do you solve that problem? You listen, you 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 encourage uh, all kinds of diversity less and you and you take what you can and dis disregard the rest and go about your business. How do you solve that problem? When the board says this is the position we're gonna take and you have a trustee say, stand on the park and I said, Don't vote against them. Less. This is the First Amendment, right? What are you going to do? Jay said we're going to do hanging. Oh guy? no, no, no! I disagree. When, when the board when the board votes on something, you can disagree. You have a fiduciary obligation to support the board's decision. W w in, you with have limits. an absolute with not within limits. Well, you if can, it's illegal, Linda. Linda you, have, you have an absolute fiduciary obligation to support the board's decision. Not absolutely, Linda. Yes, you're yes wrong. it is. What you can you're say. What you, can, what you can say. What was what, illegal about? What you can say is that we voted yeah. on to recharter. The labor. We have voted on stuff that's illegal. Okay. No, no, no. The, the, the charter we vote. What was illegal about? Nothing. Nothing. But if okay. you have a trustee to stand down the parking lot and say, vote against it. Les, I'd like to move on. I just have one I, point to make. Wait, yeah. there's discussion. I have something to ask well, too. Well, then you, then you can do it after me. Oh, that's fine. I'm just okay. saying. Okay. Um, the only point I'd like to make is that the Finance Committee has met several times. I've invited everyone from the board, and at our last board meeting, we talked about that we would always need a half hour before the board meeting. Yeah, I know, but I've included you. You said a few minutes ago that you were the your committee was the only one that's met. Yeah, but I'm not on the board. I'm not on your committee. I know. No, I, I, no, no, I said the committees that I'm on. Right, okay, all right. No, I said the committees that I'm the on. The Finance Committee. I invite everyone. Yeah, I don't care sure. I didn't say okay. right. nothing. I'm just okay. saying the committees that I'm on. All right. Okay, I, I would also um, like to make a nomination in light of the events here. I would like to nominate Rich Evans for Vice President. Sure. You, you found that you would like to share what, I mean, I worked funny times. I understand what humor is in there. What humor is about her nominating? Because it's just typical. The so same humor. We're, we're, we're not going to listen to any new ideas or any new ways of doing things. But that's okay. okay. The floor because it doesn't with your yes, I, did you? humor. I, I want, I would like to support Jay for the same reasons that Trustee Flemma said, because I would like, I don't want this to be the same board that's been functioning since I came on board here. I would ask that Jay, if he becomes president, mm -hmm. to uphold the rule of law, to uphold the bylaws, and separate fact from fiction. We've had a dysfunctional board for the time since I've been elected here. And I'm going to speak very candidly. And that's dysfunctional. What's dysfunctional about what just happened? Two people leaving, the president and somebody else leaving, to conspire. We can't let this guy be vice president. So I, had to, do it. I had to go to the bathroom. Okay, okay. whatever. But that's, that's, that's how things You know, are. everybody wants to keep this close hold, whether it's you've got that's this little group. Happen. It's about time we get new blood on this board as officers. You've made some serious mistakes in the past, Linda, when you said it was a matter of interpretation. That Lally Fund, I asked you specifically. Well, I would like to see the letter. The, from the, from the I asked controller. you specifically as a trustee before that letter went out, it would be presented to the board. You did not do that. I, I, you read the letter, your... I read the letter and asked if there were any changes, and you asked for one to be made, and I made it. Where is the letter that was to, to be presented to this board before it went out, oh, Heather? You, you know, you interpret things the way you want, you do so things you the way you want. So you I'm more knowledgeable on things than you are, Heather. Oh, 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 oh. all right. So guys, I don't care it's, okay, hang on. Yeah. I'm overwhelmed. Okay, So right. am I so, by your comments and email. Do we have already. any other nominations? Okay, any further discussion? Yes, the nominations must be made in the eyes of the public. They cannot be private. They must be made. This is an open public. meeting, right? How you're voting, not secret ballot. Okay, uh, exactly. okay. Open ballot. I'll make we a comment here. I want to make a nomination for vice president as well. Okay. And that's Mary. Okay. <sighs> same old, same old. Okay, well so all right, so this, all right, so this. All right, so we have Jay Wynn for president. We have Ed Flemma, Rich Evans, and Mary DeRoss for vice president. Jim Kirkpatrick having withdrawn his name. We have John Klein for secretary. We have Heather Moat for treasurer. Are there any other nominations? Is there any further discussion? 
Uh, yes, I'm going to have one, one say. If this board is to progress and come into the 21st century, it is incumbent upon each and every one of us to bring in new ideas with new blood. Different officers, not the same old, same old. You want to do, you want to do business, conduct your business by telephone, by round, as it relates to our, uh, and, and this is no reflection on our new director, I was one of the last ones to know who, what her, who she was, what her name was. We are a board equally treated. We should have been made aware of who she was and the fact that she was starting work. I was embarrassed to be, in, to, uh, to be, I, to uh, know who she was at the date of the, of the, um, of the, um, uh, what do you call it, the raffle. And, uh, and, and, and so I took the time to meet with her and say, we'll sit down and talk about the grants, which we will. But as board, this board has been dysfunctional from day one. Thank now you, you want to make changes? Do the right thing. Thank you, I, I, Can I can just we, add something for clarification? Well, sure. I know you want to move along. I know you want to move along with this. At our last board meeting, Mary sat next to me. And I, I hope you, you if, if Ed, maybe you should go back and look at the tape. Not she a problem. Just look at the tape. She had the resume. And she sit, sat here and said, I have the resume of who we're going to hire. And I asked her, can I take a look at it? And she handed it to me. And you sat right there. I did. You didn't say a word. You didn't do anything. Was the resume with a name on it? it? Of course it was. Like, never mind. I wouldn't go there. Of the, course. Go back the, and see the tape, Ed. You'll see what it. Yes, it was. All right, guys, guys. If, if, okay. What was the date um, of our vote? Mr. Evans has withdrawn his name me. as vice president. So we have, um, between Ed Flemma and... Mary DeRoss, could you please pass the ballots around, uh, Mr. Don't Cotton? Don't we have Evans, Evans himself also? Is yeah, we I have I just Evans. withdrew. We have three. Oh, no, he withdrew. He withdrew. It's, okay. So it's Jay Wynn for president. Again, so we're crystal clear. Jay Wynn for president. We have either Ed Flemma or Rich Evans for vice president. I'm sorry. We have either Ed Flemma or Mary DeRoss for vice president. John Klein for secretary. Heather Millant for treasurer. So if you pass a ballot, please, you are um, voting for each. Can I make one more nomination? Sure. I'd like to nominate Les. He has never held an office on this board, and he's also relatively new Do you know, Lyndon Baines Johnson said it so eloquently after the 64 campaign. He said, I do not seek nor will I accept the <laughs> nomination okay, of the United States. We're talking vice president. That's no. no. Okay, on let's the go. Ballot, no. wait a on this ballot, we're taking around that money. Yes, I've got 11 things here. Do we put three names down, or are we only putting the names down for the two that are being challenged? Uh, no, put all of them down. So even though there's nobody, maybe somebody wants to write somebody in. I don't know. So no, you, what you what you got? So you're saying it's each position: president, vice president, yeah. secretary, treasurer. And so I'll have to you, write it on these ballots. No, when yeah, you get your ballot, I want everybody to vote for all four positions. And if well, there's a write in candidate, I. I don't believe that's applicable. We we're taking it from who's been nominated. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right, but I, well, it's... Who's this is not, not a general election. We're electing our officers now. Uh, based on a nomination. Based on a nomination. Now, I believe you've got the right to have a write-in candidate. If you well, don't go with the slate, don't you? I would challenge that at this juncture. Jeez, I would think you'd right? like that, eh? No, I don't. I'm, not right in, I'm only interested in who the board wants. Well... We have the recommendation from the nominating committee. It's crystal clear. No, that's from the nominating committee. We're talking the board. I didn't say nominating And what committee. is it you want? No, I'm saying with the names given, who's Mary and Ed. Mary and Ed. Ed. That's fine. You want and, to know who's voting for whom? No. I what mean, is it you want? What I'm saying is the vote taken must be done in the open eyes. Yeah, I, I know. We, we got that. What else? What is that's it? it. What else? I'm, I'm not. Okay, could you pass okay. the ballots around, please? According to these are the official according to our bylaws, it says we follow Robert's rules of order. You look into Robert's rules of, rules of order, and voting by ballot means secret ballot. Okay. I can write down the Congress. Okay, that's fine. Yes. I suggest I've asked you check the open meetings law, John, because you're around. wrong. Please okay. do so. Now, with the ballots, we're putting what down? Three names? Four. We are putting down. Four. Four. You vote for president, right. you vote for vice president, you vote for treasurer, and you vote for secretary. Four, four positions, John. Okay. Okay. Yourself included. Okay, pass the ballot. Let's do this. Pass the yeah. ballot. The official it's over really small it's fine. Small there's enough room. There's enough room. And I would ask everybody to please indicate which office, you know, President Dash. Yes. President Dash. Vice President Dash. Right. Secretary. That's fine. <laughs> 
I got some more. I've only got 11, so let's be in there. Let's make sure. Is there any extras in there? Like, no. Okay. Your treasure, right, Heather? You'll have a few left over. <laughs> You're voting two. Right. I got two. Heather and I. But but the vote has to Secretary's be a current job. trustee. Okay. There's a thank you. Come on. So, oh, really? What kind of questions? Okay, wait a minute. I got two here. Please, what am I missing? I don't know. You. Here. So, were, you, were you counting us? No, you had no, I had 11. Yeah, well, that's the official library. Well, they, don't we have 11 here? We're always small. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 11. I had 11. I thought I had 11 sheets when I got to let go. One of those is me. Well, you must have miscounted. But you're good to go. Okay. Um, do you want to pass them to yeah. John? There should only be 11 bags. John, nobody wants your job. That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. Hey, buddy. I think it's a tie, Jay, between you and... Uh, and me. Yeah. <laughs> that should be everybody. Yeah. Oh, Mary, by the way, there was one. It's not John. Please confirm that there are 11 ballots. At least that's what I'm pretty sure Joe Bolton. John, did you confirm there are 11 ballots? Joe Bolton. Joe Bolton, yeah. And Ron Morrell, I heard, is quite set. Who did he bring? He, he brings a bell, man. I think I know him from. He's been on some town committees. Okay, sounds familiar. He's active, but yeah. I heard he's on some of the problems. He was like on the zoning board or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah the so name so sounds very, very familiar because I know I've been met him once. Okay, yes, I will yes, read them. Yeah, she's okay. Retired. Okay. All right, I have 11 ballots. I will read the results to the secretary. President J. So he wins president. Vice president. Vice president. Vice president Mary DeRoss. <coughs> Treasurer Heather Moat. I guess set up this right. Okay. VP. John Klein, Secretary. Treasurer Heather Moab. President Jay Wynn. 
VP Ed Flemmel. Treasurer Heather. Secretary John Fine. Great, yeah. Three. Yeah. President Jay Wynn. VP Mary DeRoss. Secretary John Klein. Treasurer Heather Moet. President Jay Wynn. VP Mary DeRoss. Treasurer Heather. Secretary John Klein. President Wynn. VP Flemmel. Secretary Klein. Treasurer Moat. President Jay. VP Ed Flemmel. Secretary John Klein. Treasurer Heather. President uh, Wynn. VP Flemma. Secretary Klein. Treasurer Moab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for Flemma. Thirteen for John Klein. Five for Mary. The slate of officers is. President Jay Wynn. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Ed. Thank you. VP Ed Flemmer. Secretary John Klein. Treasurer Heather Muller. Congratulations, Heather. Thanks. All right. Thank so I guess the process so now is the, does. Now yeah, the um, Heather's Heather's appointment is of course subject to the town board appoint appointing her in in January. Gen January eighth. We will congratulations. Congratulations. January 8th. And congratulations, everybody. January 8th. Yeah. And, and just one other reminder, when you are appointed, you will have 30 days from that date to go to the town clerk and swear your oath. Very good point. Okay. All right. Is the um, board going to take an official position on what point it is? No. No. The, no. The nominating committee is just decided not to. Yes, and and you're appointed, not with officers. But I will. Can certainly call I will get it out to okay. you. Okay. No, no, I understand. Can we? Can we keep moving here? Yeah. All right. Building and grounds. Building Kevin. And grounds, Kevin Kelly. Uh, Eagle Scout bookcase. Yeah, the, the bookcase. We, we have the price. I don't have the contractor yet, but I will get him within the next month. Have something for us next month. Okay. Multi row sliding bookcase. Okay. Is that the one that Young made? Uh, no, no. Anything that's, else? That's all. Okay. It, it Technology, kind of, transparency. Kind of John Klein, do you have any report? Okay. What do I want to say on that? Um, no, let's say, let's pass that one. Okay. Uh, Technology and transparency. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you were talking about policy. Okay. Policies and procedures is where we're going to. Okay. Okay, public relations, um, I would just say um, uh, outgoing that, you know, I've requested on a number of occasions that the, um, the media, both newspapers and the, the um, television speak, you know, there's one voice and that should be the voice of the president. Um, I would request just going forward and I'm sure the incoming president will have the same request that you respect that and we not have different trustees talking to different um, different uh, media. Uh, we should speak with one voice, particularly after we voted on some, something, and there should be um, unanimity here, even if there's a personal disagreement, uh, we speak as one board. Uh, can I just make a, a mention? I do get a call, calls occasionally from the press because they do get calls about things that are just sometimes accurate, sometimes very inaccurate. Um, Jay, I don't know how you want to handle that. I usually just stick to the, I try not to elaborate. If you don't want me to take those calls anymore and you want to deal with all of it, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to, it's really only to deal with the numbers. Yeah. Um, I, I 
believe you're there. Okay. I, I, won't, I won't get into other things. Okay. okay. Um, policies and procedures. John, do you have anything? Yeah. Um, <coughs> in what I handed out, the last two sheets, we went into that meeting. We did have a meeting. Um, and um, what has happened is we received a number of, uh, well, two things were major. That was the purchasing and investment policies. We talked about that. And we, um, Heather's going to put together something for both of us. Uh, and we'll be, after that meeting, we'll bring it to the board. So we'll be having a meeting in January. Um, and both of them will be changed. Uh, we also had something of a, and I think that's also what I can that also looking at having a standard format when we have produced policies. I think there's a picture of that and what I handed out of what we're thinking about. Uh, that policies should all look the same. They should look the same. No, they are, they do not, not the look same the format. same. They're not in the same format. We're looking yeah. at, I'm looking at uh, possibly putting a logo the on way. the sheet. I don't know if it's in their package. I'm showing that or not. I don't have a. The same? Yeah, okay, in the back sheet. It kind of shows a format of what it would look like. On the top left would be the uh, logo. Yeah, that's a sample of policy sample. It's in here. I, I gave it to you. I thought we're looking at it as a what the policy would look like. The sheet in four of that is a description of what that's like. That's great. In other words, that, that's what we're looking for. That's that when we're going to be coming out with all new policies, and I'm saying they should look the same. Yeah. Because we have cut and paste. We have all kinds of things right. we get accepted from other companies. And I said the book should reflect that. Yeah. Oh. That's what we're, that's what we're suggesting. I don't know if we're bringing it to a vote. Oh, we well, need a vote. Well, John, yeah. you, when that's, you get the new right. pledge, you're on that. Yes. Yes. She's, she's, she's going over, over a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then after that, what we also did was if you look. All this work being done, and we should really. Yeah, that's uh, new committee assignments will be at the perusal um, of the of the new president. So okay, uh, the other ones uh, we talked about. Uh, there's two that may be coming down the street, down the hand, and that's security policy and a whistleblower policy. So we'll have to be looking at that. And then you're looking under that is future meetings. Now what Alina did, Alina came through and suggested changes to a lot of policies. So I have She's sent it all through the policies. I have fast. sent I have yeah, sent her I have sent what Alina has presented with the one that exists to all the board members. And if you look at our future meetings, it's a listing of what we're going to be looking at. So Great. we'll be coming. <laughs> to the board with policy changes as, as we uh, come through the board. And I think we need to make an effort to let everybody on board know when the committee, committee meetings are so they can come That is done. We will go online with that and put it into the uh, open meeting law. That's, that's part of it. We'll do that. Great. Can the I make a specific other thing? I think sure. it would be a good idea for all the board members to get to you what maybe their expertise is to get on committees. So when you make your recommendations well, yeah, I, to the I, board, I would be asking people if they're interested. You know, I'm yeah, that's kind of, you ask what committees people like to right. be on, and you try right. to. So you know, I'll suit you. I, wanted, I, I would like someone to be enthusiastic. Right, I course. felt like they were drafted. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so if we all shoot you emails of what ones we'd like to be on. Maybe yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if this is the time to read, but also we're looking about um, the uh, okay, the posting of meetings. I'll continue to do it the way I have been, but uh, Elena and I have been talking about how would I tell her for the posting on the uh, website and sending it out to the library. Well, I'll continue, or it's a library picking up. So, so we're going to be discussing how to handle that. You guys make sure you test to me. Oh they want in to general, have a, in general, general we have a new director. director. I'm going to start the process. I think, I think we need to go back. Excuse me. Let, 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 okay. So when you have a committee meeting that you want posted online, you tell me and you send me a slip of paper that this is what you want it to look like. I will get it to Alina and we'll, just have, we'll discuss how to get it in the web page and in the OD. Okay. Yeah, I think that will make a so, so that will be that will be going on. Um, other thing, I don't know if time, now's the time to bring it up, but 
uh, Alina has been working on um, grants. Alina is very interested in grants and how to process those grants. Now, how much authority does Alina have? Does Alina have to come to the board whenever she's processing a grant, or she can do it on her own? Or I, I put that out for discussion of how to handle it. Well, as the chairperson, John, I'll be meeting with our new director there, and we will jointly develop what we feel are considerations, but in concert with the new president, that we'll bring it, make it, you know, follow protocol in that. But I've already spoken to her briefly about two minutes, and I have to sit down with her. She will be the guiding light, so to speak, in terms of what she sees, her vision, in terms of what kind of grants are needed to run the library. So with that said, as the chairperson, I'll handle that. I just like to director. suggest that and my opinion is a little bit different. My opinion that if any grant is going to go forward, it should come to the, to the board for a vote because there are oh, a lot sure. of things that go into a grant. Um, you could apply for a grant that has matching money to it. That affects our budget. We may be affecting certain populations. We may be getting outside our mission statement. Um, so that's just my 10 cents. That if we are applying for any grant that comes to the board, that's my thought. Okay. Right, but that should be core, the, the driving force should be the library director herself. Yeah. All right. But board set policy standards. I understand that. Right, so but I just, she, just be careful. Well, Sometimes grants have deadlines and you, might, you don't want to get caught right. in a situation well, we where. Email, right? Yeah. Well, you can email. You don't have to <coughs> come to the board with the final no. mailing copy of a grant. No, that's, that's, what we're so is that your no. that's yeah. what we've done. We're going to be pursuing yeah. a grant. Right. And, a and I grant. have a slightly we'll different opinion. Process. I think if our new director wishes to pursue a grant on her own, mm -hmm. seeing the speed of the work product that has been turned out in the last couple of weeks, she ought to go ahead and do it and notify the chair. And I'll I think discuss that some, with her as chair. And I then, see that in a lot of not-for-profits, staff write grants, and volunteers really don't. But on any case, I think anything that's written should be reviewed by the library director before it's sent. And, and you know oh, something, Mary, that. you're right, because also we may be uh, subject to the new president's or his appointment he may decide to appoint new people, so I'm speaking out of turn. My, my term ends December 31, so... No, I don't mean that. Well. I mean, you might decide yeah. you're going to retire and go to Florida term. for two months oh, in the I'd winter, and then she <laughs> finds a deadline that's three weeks from now. Yeah. And Guys, I, I, unless there's a grant that's going to be written in the next two weeks, I think we defer this conversation to okay. January's meeting when we have a new president and perhaps a new chairman of grants. Okay, we um, can move on. Uh, Long-range planning, Jim, is there anything? No. Oh, we just get personnel. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Personnel. Um, and because it's good stuff. Um, the personnel committee met, uh, we meet once a month. Um, Rich, Les, and John was at hockey. He was there at the meeting, so he joined us. Um, we essentially covered half of the personnel policies. Uh, we've gone over it. Uh, we review it before the meeting. We come together and we put it all together. We're organizing it. The first half looks good. Elena uh, got a copy of it. She's made some great recommendations. And we'll go over our next meeting is on Friday. Uh, our goal is to have um, um, the second half done uh, and, uh, and organized and ready for review um, for the board and then, not, not, not for approval yet because we've still got to go to legal, uh, and just let the board look at what we've done and say, yeah, can we get this review, reviewed by, by, a, by a, an attorney, make sure we're cool, and then, then get that done, and then bring it to the board for final approval. And this will be hopefully all done by the end of the first quarter of 2014. So it's, it's going great. And that's done a tremendous amount of work on that. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. Good. It's good. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ed. Uh, long range planning. Jim, uh, anything? Waiting for a lady to come aboard. She is aboard, and I have given her some material based on our history of long range planning. Yes, I sent those out some uh, draft. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't, uh, in the time I sent it out, I don't know emails for all of you. Now I know. So I will resend it to everybody, and I to would street, love. Right? to hear your opinion. Uh, if somebody agree or disagree, mm -hmm. I would like to find middle gra so. ground and make everybody happy with our own bridge plan. I'll get together with you. Great. Nice. Excellent. And you have everybody's email now? 
No, yes. Yeah, and does everybody have Alina's email? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. okay, Jim, friends? Uh, they're in advance into the new year. Alrighty. Sunshine? Status quo. Okay. IA? Kevin, anything? Oh, no, nothing. All right, Grant, Ed? As I indicated earlier, I met briefly all of two minutes with our new director. I'll be meeting with her on an individual basis, and then she will give me her insight, and then we'll meet as a group. With okay, but are there any grants that you've None. identified? No, okay. this is something we discussed at a prior meeting. We would just sit down and discuss. Yes, Thank Les? You. Uh, I have a grant that I've identified and turned yes, it into a it to me, but turned it into her to look it over, and it's a company grant from a local employer, ranging from a thousand to ten thousand yeah. dollars. It requires a lot of work. I oh, yeah. and well, turned it over. And, and I, but once again, Les, I, I think it's important when you have chair people, you give it to them and let them coordinate, sit with the library director to get their vision. Uh, but that's, I'm going to leave that up for our new president, what he wants to do, how he wants to proceed with protocol. Okay, thank you. Thank um, you. Litigation, Whiter versus the library. I haven't heard anything new. Anybody heard anything new? I haven't. <laughs> 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 50-50 raffle. Um, I, I, for those of you that didn't attend or didn't didn't read, we the library netted uh, 14000 um, there was an issue, a tax issue, which I think Heather has addressed with a, a sales or a, a, a revenue ruling. One of the donors um, didn't even want to take possession of the check. He just wanted the library to keep it. It was a donation of over $2,000, which was very nice. Um, so the, the, um, the library netted 14000 which I think was very successful. So thank you to everybody that helped with that. <coughs> Emeritus trustees. Um, now that, I think the fourteen thousand. Excuse me, the fourteen thousand. That was that with this person not taking his. Yes, that was the grant. That was the grant. So that brings it up to fourteen thousand. Five sixty. Fourteen thousand five sixty. We also get another donor donate or another winner donate five forty. Um, it's all sorry. Right. Yeah. 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 In the bottom yeah. of the check yeah. folder, there's a little brief report. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 wrote, I gave a report to all the board members on the exact okay. winners, the numbers. Yeah. But it was uh, 14, was it 540? You sent out an email, I think. Did you? I did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, continuing business, I'm going to uh, table this for the new, for the new uh, president, Emeritus Trustees. I think that we did authorize um, Emeritus Trustees, and I think maybe in January you should pick up. Um, we, I think we have uh, talked proposing um, Earl Cunningham and Connie Stevens, but I leave that to the new board. Is there any new business? Yes. Go ahead, you first. ladies first. <laughs> oh, I think it is long past due that we establish a committee or at least appoint somebody to look into recognizing volunteers. We have never done anything formal, at least as long as I'm here for retiring trustees, um, active trustees, some of whom put in hundreds and hundreds of hours of volunteer time a year. And I think they're owed, at the very least, a thank you. And I think we ought to look for some kind of constructive ways to do that and keep them engaged with the library. You know, Mary, I think that's an excellent idea. But once again, since we have a new slate of officers, I think I'd, I'd ask that it would be delayed till the new president gets on board and his exactly. slate of officers. I, I, I agree. And I, I think there should be a way to do it. I know in other boards, you tend to um, Keep the older or the retired trustees. Just you know, let them know what meetings are happening. Yeah. They're they're a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got, um, I got something too. Yes. That work comes in, and that has to do with uh, the board recommendation for new trustees being sent to the town. At uh, the last meeting, it's, there was there was discussion of whether or not we should do that. And it was left open. I believe it was decided that the nominating committee was not going to make a recommendation. They already said that. Yeah. Well, I, I heard her say that, and I wonder if that's that's valid because at the meeting, one of the trustees did recommend a person to be uh, to, to be on the as a trustee, and I'm wondering if the board therefore ought to have its own 
vote and what the board thinks. I the think the board decided be. as a whole that we were not going to make a recommendation, that we were going to have each of the prospective candidates submit their resume to the town board and have the town board take a look at them. I think they did. Right. If any individual trustee feels strongly about a candidate, as some of them do, they certainly make their their um, you know their uh, their choices known to the town board. So I would encourage anybody that individually feels strongly about a trustee to let the town board know. But as a board, um, we did not do that. Linda, I think in addition, I think correct me, Councilman Reynolds, didn't the board? They even they went out on their own too. They solicited resumes through December 18th. That's correct. Yeah. So they were doing yeah. they were being proactive themselves as well. Okay, is that okay. address your concern? Okay, there okay. was one other thing that uh, uh, I know Connie did at the last meeting, and she made a... Um, I was just about to get to okay, that. Okay, I'll let you handle it. Okay, so um, <laughs> since this is the last meeting of the year, um, I would entertain a motion to ratify and confirm all board action that was taken in 2013. I'll make a motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? Aye. Anything that... I don't believe that is I, I, I know. Um, kosher, and I think once again, given um, trust, uh, excuse me, uh, president elect, uh, when that we don't have to do this. We, well, we did our it, normal it due revolves diligence. around 2013. So well, um, I don't think it's it's um, permitted, but I will abstain anyways. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. I, I, I wasn't here. I can't confirm everything. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so it was carried with two um, Three. opposed, oh, two. one abstention. Two. Two opposed. These are two the opposed. Ads, one abstention, and the rest voted aye. What, is it abstention or just a... Uh, abstention. One abstention. 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 One abstention. Okay. Okay, prior to adjournment, I would like to thank Oh, no. I can Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, one of the things that the library needs is new technology. And Mr. Sen is here, and he gave me a list of things that he would really like to see. So I took it upon myself to go out and begin to ask some people that I know that might be willing to make a donation for technology for the library. And we were able to secure, I have to say the checks in the mail, but a fairly good sized check that would like it to go towards updating the technology at the New Hartford Public Library. Now, I'm getting these funds from somebody who has more money than she knows what to do with it and has no need for it. You've been talking to my wife? <laughs> no, she said you know what to do with it. But anyhow, the point is no, the, IRS, know how to do it. the IRS has determined that if somebody wants to take money from their individual retirement account, they can do that and not pay any taxes on it. They can give it to a 501c3 organization, of which New Hartford Public Library is, mm -hmm. and New Hartford Public Library doesn't have to pay any tax on it. It's just here, you can have it. I don't need it. I approached one of my clients, and she said, I'd like to do that. And so there is a process coming through a fairly good sized check. And I think that was that provision. Hmm? I, no, I, I, I think I read that too, yeah. Okay. Now, I've got several other clients who are in a similar situation, and I want to go out there and say, look, we need technology, and we don't have the money in our budget. Would you be willing to make a donation to help the New Hartford Public Library? You've only got 10 days to think about it because it expires on December 31st. Right. But once again, Les, you know, I think it's magnanimous, those kind of gestures. But I think for future reference, since we've got, once again, I hate to use this, but we have a new slate of officers, we have a new director. I think it's important we follow protocol to keep them in a loop because, and those people that are charged with this responsibility, because I'm going to look to our new director heavily for her guidance and expertise. Well, hang on. You're talking about using the, the money. If he has con if he's got clients that he can approach between now and December no, to, I, to, 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 
Yeah. Yes. No, 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 I'm not saying don't, 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 no, no, I'll, 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 I'll take it down to Best Buy personally. That is obviously going to be within the parameters of the new board. Okay, anything yeah. else? Thank you. That's, so that's so I good. can continue to get this money, and Roy yes. and I can work on what we want to no, do. No, I'm not technology, John's technology. John technology? Well, yes. Okay, John and yes. I and Roy can work on getting, once we have the money raised, okay. we can go buy the things that we need. I think it should come to the board with the recommendation from the uh, Library director. I think that, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. get the money. We'll <laughs> get, get the money. money. Yeah. And okay, before we adjourn, I do have I do have a uh, a gift for Mr. Wynn, which I happily give him. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you for You're all welcome. your efforts and your leadership. Yes. The best position of all immediate past president. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. I'll move. Uh, motion to adjourn? Yes. Second? All those in favor? Uh, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Happy thank New you. Year. Merry Christmas. Thank everybody. you. Congratulations again. Okay.